The beautiful karst mountain scenery outside of Yangshuo in the Guangxi province of China has quickly become a favorite among both Western and Chinese tourists. In fact, the beauty of the Li River and its karst peaks has even convinced the Beijing government to put it on their 20 yuan note. In this video we will show you a few things that you can see and do in this area. It will take you on a 24 km hike along the Li River, it will take you bamboo rafting down the Yulong River, and we will show you a few other attractions in the area. But first, let's take a short tour of the city itself, Yangshuo. Yangshuo is beautifully located between a series of karst peaks on the bank of the Li River, about 80 km southeast of Guilin. Although parts of the city looks like a quite ordinary Chinese city, most of it is catered to the thousands of tourists pouring into it every day. A lot of the touristy activity is uh, located around the famous West Street, which really comes to life in the evening. Yangshuo can also offer some really delicious local food, and if you want to try one of their specialities, we can recommend the Niang Tian Luo. This is actually not normal snail as it might look like, because what they do is, they take the snail meat out of the shell, they mix it with pork, then put it back in for cooking. It's really delicious. A great way of discovering the countryside around Yangshuo is to go hiking along the Li River. There's a popular 24 km route going from Yangdi town to Xingping. The hike will take you through a variety of local farmers' fields. It will give you a good idea about uh, what they grow here and how the farmers uh, live and work. Parts of the hike you can choose to walk right on the riverbank itself, which can be quite interesting. The scenery all along the route is absolutely gorgeous. And you shouldn't really worry about meeting too many other people on the track. But if you do the hike during the summer, remember it can get really hot. Like on our trip it was 35 degrees centigrade. The hike will also give you a good chance to get a close-up look at the local animals. And after a few hours of walk, the sun and the heat might do some strange things to your head. Circus at Li Chang. During the hike you have to cross the river three times altogether. Tickets for the first two crossings you can buy at the start of the hike, whereas the last one you have to buy on the boat. At the end of the hike you will arrive in the small town of Xingping. And after 6 hours of walking we can definitely recommend the freshly squeezed mango juice. A 20 minute bike ride from Yangshuo city will take you to the Yulong river. The Yulong river is a bit more quiet than the Li river and it's famous for its bamboo rafting. Okay, we're at the Yulong River and uh, ready for uh, bamboo rafting for about two hours. Yes.
unfortunately you're very lucky if you get some time alone on this river as you're more likely to catch up with the rest of the tourists. On your way down you also have to pass a few tiny waterfalls. Okay, <laughs> looks a bit bigger. Yoohoo, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely the biggest so far. <laughs> I even got a little bit wet. <laughs> The whole trip normally takes between 2 and 3 hours. If you didn't bring your bike along with you on the raft, you can arrange for them to transport it to your destination and it will be waiting for you when you arrive. Another popular attraction in the area is Moon Hill. Moon Hill is basically a tall karst peak with a big hole going through it and you can reach it by climbing 800 steps on a marble paved mountain path. Hello! Hello! <laughs> it's possible to walk right through the hole itself, or even take a rest inside of it. Well, I guess it's the first time I've paid to see a tree, but yeah, it's kind of cool and big. The big banyan tree was planted during the Sui dynasty around 1400 years ago. It's 17 meters high, 7 meters around the trunk, and gives a really nice and cool shadow in the summer. <laughs> right next to the banyan tree, you can try out your skills on a bamboo raft, which is not as easy as it might look. Well, that's the end of our video from Yangshuo. Hope you enjoyed it and wish you a nice trip to China. <laughs>